Vienna sausage frozen with uh, dry ice. We loaded it into a, a 12 gauge shell, making a essentially a meat round, and we'll uh, shoot at some very various targets. We'll put it in the dry ice bin here to, to freeze it. Very very cold. We ought to shoot the dry ice too. Mm. We're gonna shoot the Vienna Wiener at a ball. Is it a this is it gay if they touch? <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> See if we can hit it. An observation. <laughs> okay, start rolling. Go ahead. Where'd the wiener go? It went through it. It's in it. Something. Uh, maybe the uh, must have bounced. Unless that was the wadding. <laughs> <laughs> the wadding. <laughs> That's an official basketball too from the NBA. Do you know that? <laughs> I just left it out in the sun for a while. <laughs> Have you heard of shrinkage? <laughs> Meat round versus plywood. Go ahead. Whoa! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? That was, was the meat. Vienna sausage. <laughs> Straight through. It's all frosty and gold, and this is like a, I don't know, 60 grain wiener there. <laughs> I'm gonna shoot against a, uh, shoot at a big old like three gallon jug of water. Okay, uh, wiener versus our jug, giant wiener. That's a, that's a 60, 80 grain wiener. Go ahead, Darren, roll. Okay. Ready? Yeah, go for it. <laughs> My goodness. <laughs> I think it went right through it. No, it I don't think so. I saw something hit the sand. Nothing came out the back. <laughs> no. That's all. Oh, I think that. Oh, there it is. <laughs> you see the wiener? Yeah, that's gross. <laughs> <laughs> you can see little pieces of it coming out. Oh. It's right there, trying to come out. <laughs> That is the world's like fastest the wiener. wiener. Come, out of the hole. come out of there, wiener. <laughs> See, that would that'd be a really good defensive load for your house. You wouldn't have to, you know. Hey, you could like, shoot the bad guy in the jug. If, if you had, you know, a hostage situation with a, you know, yeah, all you had was a wiener, Vienna sausage. <laughs> and some, and, and, and some dry a, ice in about 10 minutes of time. And, a hell of a hostage situation. All you have is a wiener. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes that's all a man has. How many grain do you think that is? I don't know. <laughs> that's that's for big game there, man. But we got it. We got it frozen, so it's hard and ready. <laughs> so many things wrong with that. <laughs> it's always an adventure when you come out and shoot with Jeff. Okay, we're shooting at a toaster this time. Happy face on there. Brave little toaster. Oh, copyright infringement. Are you rolling? Yep. Okay, go ahead. Oh, oh my god! god. <laughs> the magnum! The magnum, baby! Ow! That was a nice shot. Yes, I didn't know. <laughs> that was some big game there, baby. <laughs> How does this head stay together? <laughs> So wrong. There's plastic. plastic. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow, that's mass, Demolished. energy, speed. This is proof that uh, anything <laughs> going fast enough is going to do damage. That's horrible. Even frozen weenies. Frozen wieners. <laughs> Pork sword versus uh, controversial book. <laughs> I don't know what else to say, man. You can't really say much to draw. Wiener versus Book. What'll win? Pork Sword, go ahead. 
Oh. Wow. <laughs> 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 Pork in there. Oh my god, you got the wrong guy! <laughs> you got the wrong guy! Oh, great! <laughs> you see what team you're playing for? <laughs> damage from that thing! It came off the back. It didn't go all the way through, but look at the damage. It went through, I think. <laughs> it went sideways through it. There's <laughs> 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 a headshot on the wrong guy. Is it under the poster? Something wow. Hi, right, this is Matt. I'm here with Tal Flatermouse, and we want to find out if you can destroy a Nokia phone with a Vienna sausage. A very small we uh, wiener load versus it's the Nokia telephones, Nokia. cell phones. Say Nokia. 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 You don't want to buy. Okay, are you rolling? There you go. Jesus oh. Christ. <laughs> More Nokia. How do you say it? Nokia. Nokia. Like you That's the, the Canadian car. expression. That's how they say it. Like you don't want to buy the Kia. Nokia. Nokia. <laughs> I don't care. They're, I don't know what model they are. If they're the uh, bulletproof ones or not. But we're going to shoot them with a, uh, with a pork sword shotgun load. Magnum style, baby. That one looks a little drip, drippy there. <laughs> okay. It's we'll see if we older. get full penetration on the on the uh, on the phones or not. That's a big. That's a full game lo load. You know, that's for big game. You don't mess around with that. Okay. He's loading it. <laughs> How's that fit? It fits. We're already going over here, Jeff, so whenever you're ready. Okay, go ahead. Man, oh man. Full miles, penetration, man. baby. So why did this even work? I think most people would think that, you know, just the initial shock of the shotgun when it's fired is going to just blast that Vienna sausage into pieces or the heat from the powder or the friction through the air. There's a lot of heat from the friction of the air. Now I realize these things were going 1,800 to 2,000 feet per second. That's almost 1,400 miles per hour. And that's a lot of friction. They should have melted or blown apart. And why did they um, not completely blow apart when we hit objects? A lot of times we found entire pieces or large chunks that weren't completely blown apart. They should have just disintegrated and splattered on impact. A Vienna sausage, just like a hot dog, is comprised of a bunch of meat byproducts that's pulverized into tiny little fibers. There's small little fibers in there and there's a lot of moisture inside that hot dog or water. So when that freezes, the little fibers create a really strong structure it's almost like cement, and it's just incredibly strong. Now, I bet a lot of you are, are thinking, you know, that sounds awful lot like a material called picrete. Now, picrete is a material that a British engineer conjured up during World War II where he wanted to 
use the cheapest possible materials to build a bomb and torpedo resistant aircraft carrier made up of sawdust and water that was frozen and um, so basically what we have here is a demonstration of not pycrete but it has the same properties of pycrete so maybe we can call this round something like a porkrete round I don't know we hope you enjoyed watching this we had a lot of fun making it a lot of laughs a lot of silliness and everything anyway thanks for watching it and uh, stay tuned for more weird weird stuff from us we got lots of stuff coming up